fish at six. And uh, there's no time to fiddle dick around. I got to go, go, go. I got a list of things to do. And uh, we're going to break some news. You want some breaking news? Okay, this is all my notes. Here's what a professional I am. Here's all my notes. Here, you can read them. This is what's on the show tonight. This is my run sheet, as we say in radio. Okay. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about that. Calm yourselves, America's team Americans. And here goes. Um, I will come in and respond to a bunch of your comments later tonight. I'm going to do this. New fish at six. I got to roll somewhere. I promise I'll come back. We'll probably break some more stories. Okay? Exclusive, exclusive. Some people make fun of it. I can shove it right up your ass. In fact, you know what we got to do? I got so much of this. That's right. Machine gun fish. Machine gun fish. Item. <laughs> Lyle Collins is okay. Uh, got off the phone this afternoon with a source close to the situation. Um, it, discomfort. Something didn't feel right. Neck, shoulder. He's okay. A minor thing. Okay? Whew. There's exclusive, exclusive number one. Lyle Collins. He's fine. Okay. Item. <laughs> Cowboys start outdoors knowing that it might rain, hoping that it's muggy to kind of simulate Tampa Bay. Wasn't very muggy today in uh, beautiful Frisco where we reside, walking distance from the star. Uh, but then it did start raining. And so then they took us inside to the Ford Center. Good work was done, but we didn't get the muggy. Who did we get good work from? I'm glad you asked. Item. <laughs> Amari Cooper. <laughs> we take him a little for granted. He's awfully good. And he wants to be 100% mentally and physically and all the rest. And, and I, I know that uh, rubs some people the wrong way. Just rub some dirt it and get your ass out there and play. But by gosh, today was his more, most full practice. In fact, I would say it was a full practice. The most full uh, workout that he's had all summer, he was terrific. He looks slimmer. He moves so effortlessly. The route running, which is maybe his greatest attribute, is even better now because he's lighter. And Gary Gilbert afterwards said, yeah, this is a blast throwing to these guys, including Amari Cooper. Um, look for Amari Cooper to play maybe 10 snaps <clears throat> on uh, Saturday when the hated Houston Texans roll into town. By the way, of course, I'll be at the stadium at AT&T. Uh, the 75-member staff will be with me, at least in spirit. I'll also host a Cowboy Pre-Pre on 105.3 The Fan uh, starting at 2 o'clock. Item. No, Zach. Where's Zach? Where's Zach? Where's Dak? Where's Zeke? Uh, my wife, it amuses her that the Cowboys have all these names that almost uh, sound like harsh poetry. Okay. Zach Martin did not practice today. Illness, he's fine. Uh, Quentin Bohanna did not practice today. Illness, as far as I know, he's fine. Item. What about Dak? No to Dak on Saturday. Now, McCarthy's kind of said a soft no, but it's a hard no. Shut this down. We'll see you in Tampa. You'll be fine. I've already seen some people say, if they lose to Tampa, it's going to be because... No, if they lose to Tampa, it's because Tampa's better by six and a half points. Look at it another way. If they go to week one and beat Tampa, will that therefore be proof that nobody ever, never needs to play again in the preseason? Will you use that as proof of that? No. It doesn't, it's not significant one way or the other. But Dak will not play in this preseason game and will not play in any preseason game. And I wouldn't be surprised if he never plays in one again. If somebody starts using their thinking cap. Item. I bet you you don't see very much of Zeke. Again, what are we trying to prove? Let's get through this. So that's my prediction. Uh, Tommy says, Tampa's not a better team. Listen, I, we could have a, a homer argument if you want to. 
uh, uh, you be the homer, I'll be the gomer until I win the argument, at which point you're the gomer because if Las Vegas favors one team, if the odds makers favor one team by six and a half points, that team is the better team in that building that day until the Cowboys prove otherwise, which they very well might. But you want to lose, you want to go live under a bridge in a cardboard box? Go ahead and keep betting against the odds makers. No offense, Tommy. I don't mean to be harsh. Item. Um, Kennedy was uh, was funny on the podium today. I think he made a Jerry joke. Uh, and then he talked about Micah. And somebody asked him, have you ever seen a player like that? And he goes, or no, what would you compare him to? And he goes, I've never seen a player like that to compare him to. Have you? Have you ever seen a 250-pound man who can run a 4-3? You ever seen a, a 6-3, 250-pound man who's, who moves like a cornerback? He's got something there. Item. Ezekiel Elliott, who, uh, as Hard Knocks revealed, eats sunflower seeds during the game. I used to eat sunflower seeds. I used to eat sunflower seeds. Uh, but everybody else had such a clever mouth that they could crack them in their mouth and just eat the inside. And I just found it amazing. I just ate the whole thing. I sucked off the salt, chewed on the other, got pieces of, yeah, I mean, I ate the shells. Uh, he also revealed that Kellen Moore has told the fellows on offense what our goal is. Uh, I've got a video, if you go look at it, it's CD's Secrets. And he talks about his goal, but he won't tell you what it is. It's a secret. Zeke let their collective secret out of the bag. Kellen Moore, soft-spoken paper boy Kellen Moore, is telling the guys our goal is to be the number one offense in the NFL. Hmm. Get out of there, message. Item. Uh, as we told you last night, you're going to sign a kicker. His name is Liram Hajrulahu. Hiram Hajrulahu. Dak needs to play a series in the preseason. Why? Tell me why. Explain to me. I, 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 I mean this. I'm very respectful and deferential to coaches who've actually done it. Okay? I would happily sit down with Mike McCarthy, who's been doing this his whole life, and who's no dummy, and I'll, and, and I'll buy you a beer, you buy me a beer, and then the next beer is on the person who can better explain why or why not a veteran quarterback needs to play in a few snaps in the preseason. Why? Why do any starters play in the preseason? I don't know. Because that's the way we've always done it. And coaches are, uh, as much as anything, creatures of habit. Hey, why do we do it this way? Well, that's the way we've always done it. That's a terrible excuse. That's a terrible reason. That's no reason. Tell me why. How does Ryan Fitzpatrick get better at age 38? Because he played in a preseason, because he played six snaps in a preseason game. It's ridiculous. Ben DiNucci can get better. Now, Michael says Dak needs to get over the injury worries. That's why. So you're saying this is a unique case, except he doesn't have any injury worries. I mean, I've, I've, I I've think I've made this clear. Oh, what happened to my picture? I've watched him in every media allowed OTA, every media allowed minicamp, and every... We might be losing my connection. I might have to hurry up and go... He's fine. He needs to get hit. He'll, he'll get hit in September. Why would you want him to get hit in August when he's going to hit it in September anyway? It's nonsense. Item. Uh, so this kicker is, is originally from Kosovo, which is a European nation in dispute. And his family, they were refugees who left their homeland and moved to Canada, and he became a kicker. And he's a... He was a CFL superstar. He's going to get a crack here. He will be your kicker on Sunday, on Saturday, because, number one, Zerline's not ready yet, and then McCarthy revealed today that Hunter Nishwander, Hunter the punter who's been doing a lot of this, has an issue. I don't know what the issue is, but there's going to be a roster move. 
And it's weird that he didn't say Hunter the Punter has an injury. He said he has an issue. So I don't know, but we will monitor. Um, who's going to fill in for Gallimore? First crack goes to Osa. That can work out. Speaking of defensive line, Randy Gregory on fake grass, like was the case today in Ford Center, was fast. And uh, a tip of the cap to Dorrance Armstrong. This coaching staff last year loved him very much. Leon Lett and others, uh, he is making this coaching staff look good this time around. So, to review, you ready? Lyell's okay. Exclusive, exclusive. They moved from indoor, they moved from outdoor to indoor. Fine, they didn't get their muggy weather. Sorry. No DAC this weekend, no DAC any weekend until the weekend that matters uh, on a Thursday in Tampa. I bet you no Zeke. I'll bet you a dollar in the preseason. 10 plays for Amari, who was fantastic today in practice. Zach Martin, Quentin Bohannon, an illness. They're fine. Kennedy, great quote on Micah. I've never seen a 250-pound guy who can run a 4-3-40 and moves like a cornerback. doodly doodly doot. Have you? Kellen Moore telling his guys privately our goal to be the number one offense in football. New kicker rolling in, and he's not going to get the job. Greg Zerline's going to get the job. But Greg, the leg, they don't have that leg. They're going to get another leg all the way from Kosovo. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. Montego, we go down to Kosovo. We'll kick there fast and then we'll go to Canada. Dorrance Armstrong, good. Good, good camp. Randy Gregory, good camp. Osa, the uh, leading candidate to go take that uh, job from Sir Neville Gallimore, sir, until he heals up. And that is Fish at Six. If you feel like in the last 17 minutes, you know, I learned a little something. I didn't know that. Or I was marvelously entertained. Would you please uh, tell your friends and subscribe? Thank you. Fish out.